Welcome to VCHH Playlist. I am your host, V. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe with your loved ones or people that just may need to hear it. I know I spoke a lot about fasting and prayer today because it's such an important topic. And um, what you get from it is supernatural blessings poured all over you. You don't get the things in the natural when you fast and you pray. And remember what I said, one of the key components. There's certain issues you have in your life. There's certain things you go through that can only be dealt with through fasting and prayer. Also, keep yourself humble. You can't achieve certain things from God's glory without being humble. Remember that. You know, I know that we live in this life out here and life moves fast and, you know, we're used to everything fast and, you know, we get certain achievements in life. We do certain things and we like to give ourselves credit, you know, and then we become the man and, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, and we did this and we did that. You know, we take the credit away from the creditor. And that's where we go wrong. And so, you know, I'm just asking you, you know, I, I don't try to ask anyone to believe me and do what I do and things like that. But I'm telling you from experience that spend that time, give that ultimate intimate time with God. And I'm telling you, he's going to change your life. He will change your life. And let me tell you, I mean, I'm not someone who's just now fasting. I've fasted before. I've done it before. I've seen the glory. But I'm telling you, he keeps pulling me back. You know, because the Bible says fast often. You know, the Lord wants you to do it often. So it's not something where it's just like, oh, okay, I do it when the church says do it in the beginning of the year and I'm good. You know, I've done, I've done my, I've done my, my share. No, fast often. Do it often. Don't you want God's miracles often? Don't you want him to reveal to you often? Don't you want him to show you things you couldn't see in the natural often? Do it often. You know? And that's the point I'm trying to make. Like, humble yourself. And I'm talking to myself. Because I'm dealing with things myself. Like, bring yourself down to your knees. Humble yourself. Realize it's not you making these moves. That it's only God. Only Him. You have a, you have a intimate relationship, even though it seems invisible. You have this relationship that God respects so much. When you submit and you give it to Him. And I'm telling you this because, like I said before, these are the last days, my friends, the last days. So get your household in order. Get your soul in order. Get your mind right. You know, like. Do these things without me or anyone else telling you to do it. Just do it and try it. Just try it. That's all I'm saying. Just try it. You know, if it doesn't do for you what I'm saying I mean then you know do what you got to do do what you're going to do but try it just try it just humble yourself look at yourself as lowly or just the same as anybody else just just put yourself down and let God do what he needs to do within you you know just for me I need to show my weaknesses. I have to. Imagine God making me strong in my weaknesses. Imagine him doing that for you. Imagine how much we can do together if we submit like that, if we do that. Imagine what we could do. Look, man, I ain't got to tell y'all. Y'all see what's going on. You see that today that good is considered bad and bad is considered good. You see that the devil is just 
run up rapidly and he doesn't even try to hide the things he's doing because he's just boastful. He's bragging. He's just, he's confident. What I'm telling you is, man, is let's transfer and change all that. Let's just submit to God and see what he does. Just see what he does. That's if I have to ask you anything, I'm asking you to do that. And that's it. Just try it. Just try it once. If it don't work, do what you got to do. But just try it. I know it works. You'll thank me. You'll share this video without me asking you to share it. I'm giving you what you need, not what you want to hear. In Jesus' name.